mainly a, a independent, family-owned spraying business. We run on a small scale. We spray approximately 30 to 35,000 acres a year with just one rig, and we do oil field sterilizing. So the main reason we needed a building was for uh, to house the tanks and stuff that we uh, need to keep fertilizer in. It's a it's a containment. It's a drive-through containment. We can open in one end, bring the trucks in, load them, and run out the other end with it. We first heard about this building whenever uh, it was kind of a building from a neighbor of ours. Uh, I'd put one up. We went out and checked it out. Went online and started looking at pictures and kind of figured out. Did some price checking and stuff. And figured out it was uh, exactly what we wanted. And uh, when we did order it, they were very helpful in uh, the specific way we wanted to build the building because it is uh, it's unique in, in several ways, and they customized it to what we wanted to do. The existing slab was already here, which was a 60 by 80, exactly, and then we added four inches around the sides for a lip for the uh, containment that we have here. It actually measures 80 and 80 feet, four and three quarters, so it's an odd size, and you know, everything that they, we told them at the factory when they sent it out, everything was just right on. We wanted different size doors, we wanted walk-ins in certain places, which a lot of companies would do, but the way we wanted to do it and uh, have the right height and the uh, availability to get it in a certain time. And we'd heard nothing but good deals about delivering everything. And everything came on time, just as scheduled, promised, and, and never had to go back for anything after we did get it. Uh, the building went up real fast and easy and stayed real square. It does have the, the three purlings along the side, one set at four foot, which we liked, versus some buildings are at eight foot for the first one for more support, benches, running airlines, electrical lines, stuff like that was much easier with having that there. You know, we've had some real windy days with some rain. Um, she's tight, she seals up good, nothing comes in, no complaints whatsoever. We did put a uh, tube heater in it. It's uh, just a 50 foot straight tube heater. It maintains it at 45 to 50 degrees, which we need to keep from freezing. So far, very efficient. The uh, insulation's tight and it reflects well. We had real good lighting in here. The whole building's containment that way. That way if a semi pulls in here to unload, they have to be in the containment. So that was our main deal. A lot of, a lot of places you'll see will have them outside and then they got to put a roof over it and stuff. And then you get rainwater in it and you're always draining it and stuff. So that's why we wanted the one just coming through the building. You know.